okay, so this is the one you guys have all been waiting for. Uh, we are gonna do our Bumblebee, uh, reaction now. We listened to it a little bit, but now we can kinda, uh, listen to the full song and cry and do whatever we need to do. A little bit of lyric analysis, but not too much. I know there are some lyrics in here when we listen to the sample. I was like, mm. And apparently, uh, there's a little bit of a surprise for us. Apparently it's not just Yang singing, and so... That means things. It's the bike singing as well. Yeah, it's definitely vroom, vroom, the bike. Vroom, vroom, anyway, vroom, we're gonna vroom, start vroom, now. Vroom. If you guys have watched these, Hunter's probably not as excited about things as I am, but he's excited for this one, I'm sure. So let's just... Are you... J j not actually. Why? Because... What if your ship gets confirmed canon in here? Won't you be happy? Won't you be happy for the game? Here's the thing, though. Like... A song. Yeah. It's, that's like the minimum. If I, I will not celebrate until I see with my eyes on the show proper, like, you know, black and yellow coming together until I see the bees. I'll be happy with this. Even if it never happens in the show, I'll probably settle for this game. If it song. never happens in the show and yet they have this very they were gay like, song. Oh, um, who said, oh, Cal, you and Tally should do a duet of it together. And <laughs> <I was> like, hmm. <laughs> Okay. Get uh, the lesbians together. I know, okay. that's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. it. Even if we just get to sing this gay song forever, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. There's a garden where I go. If you meet me there, no one will know. In the springtime, in the sun, we can be alone without anyone. Oh my goodness. Come on, Yang. Parental supervision. Keep a Bible in between you. Eating pussy. Good job. All the butterflies and the bell of boobies. Okay, so I know birds and the bees yeah. is the actual thing, but I think butterflies and the birds can uh, can go that too. They're talking also, about sex. This song is talking about sex. Is it the bees? Which ones are the bees? I don't know. Just, uh, do, 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 do. No, they won't say Wait, well, the birds lay the egg. And, and the bees, bees pollinate, so I'm guessing bees oh. are. Yeah. <laughs> and bees are famous for their ejaculation. Ecstasy is like they're fucking. Yeah. They fucking. Okay. Now the flowers are in bloom. And you chased away my darkness and gloom. Ooh, I like that magic you think. Did you hear that? Once again, showing your like classical understanding of music. The thought of your kiss sets my soul into bliss. That is fucking, you know what I mean? Kissing is close enough to fucking. I love how you said fucking. Also, she said I get high. That, that's an interesting they also talked about, But they're also talking about running from the sky, which is bizarre. No, the clouds run from the sky. As in, it's a sunny day. Like a serenade, every word you say. Okay. Me so this is where it cuts off, and it's the other person that like people think is Blake right here. You are all so sweet. Because Yang is serenading Blake. It's the bike. It's like the bike from the car from the bike rider. Take me back to the high. To the high. That, that's a bit. Oh, I'm gonna use that in the bar. Take me back to the high, Put your <laughs> hand away from me. This is unwanted sex. What if I just, like, play? Don't! <laughs> Take me back to the high, <laughs> So that must be Blake's little part. Yeah, and 
And so like, oh man. So I guess. Oh, yes. oopsies. So I guess it's not about the bike. It's not about the bike. Why would you kiss the bike? Why, would, why you would you kiss the bike? Why would you take the bike? I've known okay, people who really like Okay, back to the hive bikes. is kind yeah. of a little bit sexual. Like this has to be Let's one of the fuck. more like sexual like, we ruby songs, fuck. you know? Because mm. I'm like. What are the other hey, sexual hunt? ruby no, songs it's that are? One apparently... of the most sexual ruby songs. Yeah. So I then said. there's other sexual. No, not even really. On the... I'm so just the saying, only sexual ruby song. It's a bit more like. Mm, but yeah, yeah. Mm, baby. Yeah, like that if I'm like, booty. hey Hunter, my that's parents nussy. are home. Take me back. Let me take you back to the hive. You know, like that's a that's a little sexual. If you told me to come back to the hive, I would laugh in your face and walk okay. away. What do bees do in a hive? Like they make honey, right? And they fuck. Like there's a queen bee, and then like the queen bee gets around. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, cause I'm thinking, like maybe honey could be like an innuendo. <laughs> Ejaculate. Female ejection? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, where is it? And I busted a honey in your mouth. Because <laughs> it said, tastes like honey, right? Mm hmm well, That could be referring to kisses or, you know, cunnilingus. We don't know. Yeah, that's what I was Kisses saying. and cunnilingus. And she's saying that you could be my, my queen, My debut right? and so Bumble erotica Bumble coming out this fall. Bumblebees fuck the queen, right? Yeah. Yeah, and so she's saying that... Blake should be your queen. So and not only is this a romantic bumblebee. song, we are we are we've come to the conclusion that it's a song like uh, they're about fucking. fucking. They want to fuck each other. Yeah. No, but seriously, like, look, you could be my queen. Let me be your bumblebee, right? She's the bee, but yeah, but Blake is the queen bee. I really hope that they actually wrote this song to be about a bike, and then they're like, ah, shit. I mean, <laughs> um. It's about the Grim that ate Roman and Yang severed R. You are all idiots. <laughs> yeah. It's from the bike's perspective. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. God, I, but here's the thing. I just, like, because I look at this song and I think lesbians, but then I look at volume four and I'm like, Black Sun looks like it's going to happen. But I don't want it to. Legend of Korra, I though. don't want it to. Legend of Korra. Legend of Korra was too good and it passed us by. And here, it, I Here's mean, the it was thing, okay, though, is but, that, yeah. that we have to consider here is that this yes. song has Blake and Sun's, wait, Blake and uh, Yang's perspective. Yes. Like, Yang serenading the bike. her. Right, because the bike. Someone could argue that all of this is one person singing, but the problem is, is two things. Casey's voice changes first. Like you can kind of hear it in her tone. Like she's kind of using a different voice mm -hmm. uh, to kind of differentiate. And let me be your is intentionally cut off. And uh, then the other person says, like <laughs> serenade. It's cut off because they started fucking. It's cut off because somebody else started talking over Yang would be the implication here. And so, like, a serenade every word you like say has me falling more and more in love with you, right? And so, that means that if, like, for example, if this was a musical, uh, you know, Yang would be singing her feelings to Blake and Blake would be like, like a serenade. You know, she would, like, they'd be holding hands on stage and then Blake would be answering her back in song. Like, that's kind of how I see this, like... I don't know, if this was a musical, that's kind of what they'd be doing, right? And so, mm -hmm. the thing with not fall in love with you, right, which is kind of from Sun's perspective, but at the same time, I think Jeff sings it, so that's a bit weird, because they got Lamar to sing Blake's part in, uh... Well, they said that not fall in love with you was not about Sun and Blake, that it, they just wanted to kind of do a boy band song, and so... Yeah, because we talked about this in an earlier video, but we said that it's interesting that Jeff and then Jeff's wife are doing older characters like Summer and Crow. Also, yeah, that's Summer and Crow OTP right there, because they're married in real life. Uh, while Casey is doing the younger girl voices and Lamar seems to be taking over the roles of character like Sun and maybe in the future, Jean. Uh, if Jean has a song ever. He's kind of due for one, I think. I like, when it comes to Ruby music, not, I've been like yet. overwhelmingly... I'm almost done. Just let me finish my thing. Um, so I think that let's say not fall in love with you is from Sun's perspective, but it, they've already said it's not. Um, something that we have to consider is that's only Sun's feelings where this song seems to be the feelings of two characters confessing to each other. And so it, that probably most likely is a lot of people consider it Blake and Yang. If it's not Blake and Yang, it's still two girls. And I think we should still be excited about that. I was thinking about this that um the ruby songs that uh, are memorable to me are obviously like the openings just because you hear it so often uh coffee because that i like that fight scene um and then some of their like jazzier 
stuff. Is so like the neon the fight is something that I remember, and then the 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 like the dance, the songs that they play at that 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 was memorable. And I think this is a little more jazzy and it's a little more memorable. Mm -hmm. More so than I already forgot what the first two songs sound like. I'm starting to forget what the third one sounds like. I am not a victim of your crimes. No? Okay. Um, Not at all. But yeah, I'm really excited about this because let's just say it's not about Blake and Yang. It's still two girls. It seems like it's two girls' perspective anyway. And so that means there's two gay girls. Well, I mean, it says queen. Yeah. And I guess it's said by, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it could be. Can you imagine if instead uh, this is about uh, Emerald and Cinder? Because we talked about in our LGBT video that isn't out for the public yet. Uh, that uh, Emerald kind of likes Cinder, and then Cinder is uh, the one that wishes she was the queen. Remember Tyrion said that? They said, uh, one does not disappoint the queen. And Ruby was like, oh, Cinder? you mean Cinder? And, she and Tyrion wishes. was like, yeah, she wishes. And so what if... And just imagine they were like, no, actually, it's about Emerald and Cinder. And then they called it Bumblebee like a bunch of twats. I mean, I guess Salem's thing would count as a hive. <laughs> All right. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, demons, bumblebees, they're kind of the same thing. But yeah, it's probably about Blake and Yang. Well, I, I feel like I feel like I started here and I just got lower and then that was a nice little pick-me-up. That's good. That's good. Well, pro- I'll probably do a in- more in-depth lyric analysis, but I think when that I'm we've out already... Of the house, yes. I think that we already, like, went through this enough. Like, it's pretty basic. Like, you see the cutoff there. It's another character singing. That character is probably someone Yang's interested in. Maybe it won't be Blake, <laughs> but it still means Yang is gay. If this song is, like, entirely canon. Homosexuals are against the will of God, and this uh, song's about a bike. Thanks for that, Hunter. If you guys don't know, we're doing a fundraiser uh, for LGBT. (laughs) (laughs) And so, uh, that's a joke, obviously. Hunter's just kidding. Uh, Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this one. We have a couple more reactions to upload over the weekend. uh, I can see it on Pink News tomorrow. Uh, YouTuber. We're starting to do Camp Camp as well as oh uh, Ruby Chibi. You think I'm miserable here? Fucking wait until the Camp Camp video. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching these. This was really fun, and we'll see you later. Bye.